Now that we've covered what exactly a blend space is, we're ready to concentrate on the concept of retargeting. And specifically, we're going to do retargeting because most people will get a hold of a blend space or they'll be able to construct their own and it will take a lot of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to construct one based on a blend space that we have internally, namely from one that existed in Rise, to be able to give you initially the same idle turn blend space and then eventually a move blend space in another video. But in order to achieve all this, we have to be able to replicate animation from a specific skeleton and have it repurposed on our little mannequin guy here. And there are some simple concepts that we have to go with, but in doing these, we're able to retarget it to any proportion. And you'll be able to see how powerful this is regarding the different types of characters that you can have with just one type of animation set. So let's go down and see our idle turn, which exists already. And this is a simple idle turn that I've made, so you can understand the concepts behind how the idle turn works and how the root motion works. So what we want is we want to achieve the ability to basically have our character turn in a full 360 degree axis. And this typically is done on a left and right turn. So if I were to, say, enable the left turn, so what we'll do is enable all of the left turns, and we have now a 180 on these turns, and you can see that we have arrows pointing outward. So let me just scrub back, and we'll have all of them in the same position. So it starts with the arrow pointing forward on all but the step forward, and if we move it forward, we can see that they actually go out on a specific axis. So regardless of what the animation is doing, the important thing is that the root motion is adhering at least as close as possible to these points. So if I go in and I enable the right side, we'll have the same thing, except it will actually spring out the opposite direction. And you'll notice that there's a specific difference between these two. So if I disable the left now and we look at the right, we'll see that the right actually springs far wider outward. So we have this point right here, which is the step forward, and then we have this point, which is going out a little bit. So let's go and look at the actual left 45. So if I enable that, we can see that we have a different position. And this is just based on the step forward, or the left foot forward pose. So we have to go on a wider actual loop, or a radius that's going around, just based on the fact of which foot we use inside of this animation. So enabling it all, once again, we can see that we have all of these points. So let me go ahead and disable the joints. And now we can see the difference, actually, between the finish points of all of these. So it can be very, very different depending on what it is. And that's why I'm giving you this example setup for the idle turn. So now that we've covered exactly what idle turns are, we're going to stop the video and go into another section where we're going to concentrate on retargeting through constraints to be able to change the proportions of our character to actually use the animations and not look stretched or disproportionate in general.